I can't even hold these bags up. welcome or welcome back to my channel today as you can probably tell by the title of this video and you also clicked on it so you know what you're watching but yes today we will be doing my black friday haul i feel like i'm honestly mostly excited because the next time i'm sitting down filming a haul like this it's gonna be my what i got for christmas video and I'm just so freaking excited. The holidays are officially here. My last video was my wish list, gift guide, whatever you want to call it. You should definitely go check it out after you watch this one. But I have a lot of good Christmas gift ideas or things to put on your wish list on there. Or you can watch and see what I bought. But this is honestly mostly all for myself. So I swear the only time I ever buy clothes for myself is so that I can film a haul and I feel like Black Friday is a really big one I don't usually shop for myself too too much Maybe a little bit here and there But I honestly just do it all at once so that I can get a good video for you guys. So I did some damage so if you are feeling nice feel free to subscribe or check out any of my other videos but yeah i can tell you that i 100 percent would not have bought this much stuff if i wasn't filming a haul but i just feel like a lot of stuff makes a really good video for you guys so that's what we're here for really quickly before we get into the haul if you're new here hi my name is Alyssa. thank you so much for clicking on this video i upload new videos every single week so definitely be sure to click that subscribe button for weekly content and give this video a thumbs up because who doesn't love black friday okay actually i can see why a lot of people wouldn't like black friday but honestly it wasn't that bad this year i feel like last year and the year before it was definitely a lot more crowded ever since covid hit they never brought back the like thanksgiving night store Doors open at midnight throughout the middle of the night I was just shopping at like 2 p.m. in the middle of the day and it felt kind of normal I got pretty lucky with the lines though but I will say I waited like 45 minutes to try something on so that was an experience but you know what we're here we have the clothes and it's time to get into it I'm just gonna reach for this big old brandy bag right here this bag was stuffed and I literally took stuff out of it so that I could hold it up for the thumbnail that's how much stuff I bought from there also it's funny because Brandy Melville does not have any deal for Black Friday but it's always packed in there and this is the first year that I didn't see like a huge line for it I'm gonna try to remember to say sizes for all of the stores but everything I got from Brandy is one size obviously so I'm not gonna say that for every item actually the first thing I got is the sweat you'll see it in the try on but i'm literally in love with it it's just like a cable knit sweater with a v-neck it's this like tan and white stripe color the next thing i got from brandy is another sweater this one is like navy blue and green stripes it's just like a knit sweater crew neck type thing and it's really cozy as well the next thing i got from brandy is just this plain black long sleeve i really like to get all of my basics from there this one is a thinner material but it just has these buttons at the top and it's really cute Everybody needs a plain black long sleeve, so I just decided I would get one. I also just needed like a good white long sleeve. It's nothing crazy. This one is pretty thin as well. I haven't tried it on yet, so hopefully it's not see-through, but I just thought it was a good staple to have, and I shrunk my other white top, so I can't wear it to work anymore. Next up from Brandy, I got a pair of sweats. I was literally talking about these in my last video, so I just went ahead and got them for myself. I have another pair of these, and I'm obsessed so I just thought it'd be good to get black ones. These are just their wide leg sweats. I love these so much more than the joggers. I'm definitely not really a joggers person anymore. These are honestly the best. They're so much comfier and they're just longer and they keep me so warm. You guys are gonna think I'm so boring but I got like the same shirt that I got the long sleeve in except I bought a short sleeve one which is so funny because I didn't even realize that I did that, but I need like work tops, okay? And the last thing I got from Brandy is actually a hoodie. I love this hoodie so much. I did wear it and seen the sleeves already, so maybe this isn't my best idea. It's just a cream hoodie and it is oversized. It says South Bay, California on the front, and then on the back, there's a graphic. I really love the fit and material of this hoodie. It's honestly like really, really good quality. It's super thick as well, and I'm obsessed. Let's do... Let's do Urban. I surprisingly had kind of a hard time at Urban this year. For whatever reason, I couldn't find anything that I wanted. Urban had the buy one, get one half off. 
and I had to force myself to find multiple items, but I had an odd number of things. The first thing I got is another boring little basic. I just got this black halter top, which I literally have in three other colors, but I didn't have black, so I felt like I should get it, and these tops are everything. I talked about these in my last video as well, but it's just like the seamless halter bra top by the brand Out From Under. I just needed a black one, okay? They are so flattering and so comfortable and that is why I now own four of them. I don't know if I said that this was a size small or not, but it's a size small. Oh my God, it turns out I bought more than three things. I literally forgot, okay. The next thing I got from Urban is this fun little mini skirt. I have seen this before and I tried it on, but they didn't have my size. I got it in a small this time and it fits pretty well. It's just like a silk mini skirt and then it has this little slit in the leg with like a tie on it. And I just think it's really cute. The next thing I got from Urban is this fun like sparkly long sleeve it's really hard to see when i hold it up so you'll see it in the try on but basically it is like one of those wrap tops it's just this brown shimmery material it doesn't really shed at all and i don't know i just thought this would be good for like new year's or something maybe i definitely don't have the boobs to fill this but we're gonna pretend i do and just hope for the best because this top is really cute the last things that i got from urban are kind of boring but there was a deal for three for eight face masks i've been really into to sheet masks lately because I'm trying to do more self-care. These are the Tony Moly ones. I've used these before. I just got the honey one, the peach one, and the hemp one. They're super cute. So yeah, that will be fun. Okay, next up we're going to do Levi's because I only got one thing. I bet you can guess what this is. I think I said it in my last video, but I don't own a pair of Levi's jeans, except now I do. I have Levi's shorts, a Levi's denim jacket, so I thought it was time to invest in some jeans. Their entire store was 40% off, which was a really good deal. The only catch was their fitting rooms are closed and i've never owned a pair of levi's jeans before so i had no clue what size to get but it actually ended up working out pretty well i just got the 70s flare ones it's just this medium wash denim color it's a little bit on the darker side i think i honestly have no idea these jeans are usually 108 dollars and i got them for 64.80 so that's a pretty good deal if you ask me okay moving on let's go ahead and do tilly's we got some fun stuff in here the first thing i got is a pair of dickies i owned a pair already but it was like the carpenter ones and i never wear them so i wanted to get a pair of 874s i just got the black ones and i'm sure you guys have seen how everybody like folds over the waistband and it's super cute these are the men's ones and i got them in a 31 by 31 because obviously i wanted them to be a little bit bigger so i could roll the waistband and they actually fit really well tilly's was also doing the whole buy one get one half off they also had a buy one get one free on like certain sweaters and i am an idiot and i picked from like two different sections so i didn't get any deal on these but that's okay if you can't tell i'm in my sweater era so i got this one this is literally the most big basic shit you could ever pick out anywhere but the thing is i need this i pretty much work monday through friday and my office is cold it's getting cold outside i work by the beach so it's freezing i got this one in a medium i'm hoping it fits a little bigger so i could pair it with like a skirt or something if not i might have to exchange it for a large i don't know why it says large on here because it's definitely a medium but we will see when i try it on and the last thing that i got from tilly's is just this brown sweater it's nothing exciting i got it in a size small we'll see how it fits on maybe it'll be good for work it's pretty comfy let's do garage next i spent enough money to get one of these tote bags apparently so that's cool as i mentioned earlier i was in garage for a very long time so after spending that much time in a line to try something on i'm gonna be more obligated to buy it because i wasn't just gonna wait there to try and clothes that i'm not even gonna get i want to say their store was buy one get one half off as well that's kind of like the most popular deal that i see anyway i got this super cute light blue long sleeve top i love the material of it it's just this rib material i will say that it is a little bit too wide in the shoulders but honestly it's fine it's just like a crop top and it's super cute and comfy so i got a pair of these it's just a gray pair of like cargo windbreaker pants i'm not sure what you would call it they have two pockets on each side and then a drawstring at the top but then the only thing is that i'm pretty pissed off about is there's those little elastic adjustable things throughout the entire pan i got these ones in a small but i do find that garage runs a little bit on the bigger side so these still fit baggy exactly how i want them god knows why i bought another pair of their expensive ass cargo pants but whatever these are just like a pair of white 
cargos these ones have the elastic at the bottom as well but i will definitely be keeping them on the loosest one because like i said i prefer the baggy look next up we have pack sun if you guys don't know i used to work there i can make a fucking story time about it but anyway the only two things that i got from pack sun are actually brandy melville surprise surprise i know and they're basic long sleeves. I don't know what else you would expect from me. I have this long sleeve in brown and I've been searching for the black or white ones everywhere. Couldn't find it on the brand new website. Couldn't find it in store. For some reason, Paxson had them. Like, look at how cute. This one is the black one. It just has this really flattering like wrap neckline. I love it. And then I just got the exact same one in white. I hope it's not see-through. I guess we'll find out in the try-on. But I have an issue where if I find one item that I really like, I'll buy it in a bunch of different colors. But you know what? It's fine. You find what works for you, okay? So those are all the clothes I got, but don't be fooled. It's not over yet. We do have one more store, none other than Bath & Body Works. Their in-store deal was buy three, get three free the entire store. Obviously, I had to stock up on all the Christmas scents. I got the Winter Candy Apple Body Lotion. I also got the Shower Gel. This stuff smells so good. And then I got the Vanilla Bean Noel Body Lotion and the Body Mist. And then I also got two hand soaps. I got Witcher Candy Apple, but it says Joy, Peace, and Love on it. And then Frozen Lake just has some gifts. I don't know, super cute and festive. And then because I'm a freaking genius, I did a separate purchase and bought six hand sanitizers because they always make the free items the cheapest ones. So I was about to pay full price for six items and then get six free hand sanitizers. So I did it separate. I just got a bunch of hand sanities. I will literally show you all of them. I'll most definitely be giving these away as gifts because I don't need all of them, but oh my God, who are you? First up, I got one of the mist ones. I like to keep these ones in my car because I just think it's like faster, I guess. This one is called Winter. It just has a snowman on it. And then speed round for the other five that I got, Vanilla Bean Noel, of course, Twisted Peppermint, frozen coconut snowball frozen lake and fresh sparkling snow okay you guys that is it for my black friday haul it was definitely a lot i have a huge mess sitting next to me that i have to go try on and then put away after so that's really fun this is super awkward because my last video flopped after i spent like 12 to 14 hours working on it I'm not trying to sell you on my sob story but if you're feeling nice or if you have the time just go check out my other videos or even subscribe that would mean a lot to me but yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it be sure to drop a comment because my comment section is dry literally say anything you want do it i dare you all my socials are linked down below if you want to check those out you don't have to i don't really care but i'm so excited for the christmas content you guys i will see you next week with a new video be there okay bye